Each question consists of four statements followed by five conclusions. One, two, three, four, and five are given. Consider the given statements to be true even if they seem to be at variance with commonly known facts. Read all the conclusions and then decide which of the given conclusions definitely does not logically follow from the given statements using all the statements together and mark that conclusion as your answer. You understand? Conclusions which definitely does not follow. Definitely does not follow. Yeah. Let me highlight. And now solve it. Definitely does not follow. Now understand the context here. When you say definitely does not follow, even the possibility should be considered as wrong. Even if a conclusion is possible. Even a possible conclusion type should be neglected. Why? Because that conclusion is only possible. See, it should be definitely wrong. Even if it is possible, is it definitely wrong? No. It is possible in some cases, right? You, you understand my point? So, if you find a conclusion which is possibility type, which is a possible type of conclusion, then you should not consider, I mean, let's say it follows or it does not follow. You are getting my point? If it follows, then don't consider it to be correct. It has to be definitely wrong. You know, the word definite is important. Definitely does not follow, right? So let's look at it, the question here. So statements, four statements, the steps are the same, the concept is the same. Draw the basic diagram. All trains are tickets. All trains are tickets. Some tires are tubes, all are T's only here. Some tires are tubes, some tires are tubes. Some trains are tires. Some trains are tires. I'm, I'm, see, we have done the first statement first. All trains are tickets. Then I'm taking the third one. Some trains are tires, some trains are tires. Now, some tires are tubes. Some tires are tubes, TU. No tube is a table. No tube is a table, TB. You understand? You have to be very clear. All are starting with T. This is another mistake which many students commit, right? They get confused, right? So use, you know, proper notation there. Trains, tickets, I can say T, K also. Trains, tickets, tires, tubes, and tables. So all trains are tickets, all trains are tickets. Some tires are tubes. Okay, hold on. Some some trains are tires, some trains are tires, some tires are tubes, and no tube is a cable. All the four statements have been considered, and this is the basic diagram that we have. Now, look at the conclusions. What do you do? Just check whether the conclusion is true or false, and after that, finally, we mark the answer. So, first conclusion. Some tires are not table. Some tires are not table. Yes, definitely true. Why definitely true? Because these tires, you see these tires, which are overlapping with tubes, cannot be tables. Yes or no? Tables, tables cannot overlap with tubes, which means tables cannot overlap with these tires also. So there will always be some tires which are not tables. So some tires are not tables is true. All tickets being tubes is a possibility. All tickets being tubes is a possibility. All tickets being tubes. All tickets being tubes is a possibility. It's possible. Yes or no? I mean, I don't have to explain that to you. Understand, all tickets being tubes is a possibility. It's possible. Why? Because I can draw a possible diagram in this fashion. Let me explain very quickly. I can draw a possible diagram in such a way. He says all trains are uh, tickets. So trains and tickets both can be shown with the same circle. Some trains are tires. This only can be shown as tires. And some tires are tubes. This only can be shown as tubes. Meaning all trains, tickets, tires and tubes can be represented by the same circle. In that case, all tickets being tubes is possible. You see, all the tickets are tubes. All the tickets are tubes. It is possible. It is possible. Whether it is definitely possible or not, I don't know. I mean, we are not worried about that, but it is possible. So, this is also true. It's possible. Yes or no? No train is a table. No train is a table. Is it true? No train is a table? Well, if you look at the basic diagram, it looks like true. Because trains and tables are not touching each other. But then tables can come and touch trains here. So, no, table is a, no train is a table becomes false. You are able to follow. No train is a table. No train is a table. No train is a table is true. No train is a table is true when you look at the basic diagram. Yes or no? No train is a table is true with respect to the basic diagram. But then, will it always be true? No. Because tables can come and touch trains. Tables can come and touch trains, right? Tables should not overlap with tubes, but table can come and overlap with trains. 
So table here can be drawn in this fashion which overlaps it rings. So no table is a true will become false there. But then understand the point. The question here is asking us to find out those conclusions which definitely does not follow. This conclusion follows sometimes. In the basic diagram it follows at least. It is possible. This is true. Some tires are not tables is definitely true. All tickets being tubes is a possibility. Yes, this is true. No train is a table is possible. It's possible. No train. No train is a table is possible actually. It's possible. No train is a table is possible in the basic diagram itself. Yes or no? No train is a table is possible in the basic diagram itself. It it fails in some diagrams, but it is possible. Here it is possible. No train is table. When tables overlap, it is. It is not possible. Final uh, fourth conclusion. Some tables are tubes. Some tables are tubes. No. Tables and tubes cannot overlap at all because tables and tubes do not touch each other. So some tables are tubes is definitely false. You understand the point? Some tables are tubes is not false in this case. It is always false. Some tables are tubes is not false in this case. It is always false because tables cannot touch tubes at all. Tables cannot touch tubes at all. Next, all trains being tires is a possibility. All trains being tires is a possibility. We have already discussed this. All trains being tires is a possibility. All trains being tires is a possibility. So this is also true. Yes or no? It's possible. Trains and tires can be shown in the same circle. Now, repeat the direction here. I am repeating the direction here. Which of the following conclusions definitely does not follow? So anything which is true is ruled out. A, B, E are ruled out. Anything which is possible also is ruled out. Because no train is a table is possible. If it is possible, we cannot say it is definitely not following. See, definitely does not follow means what? Definitely false. It is definitely false. Always false. Simple understanding is definitely does not follow means that conclusion should be always false. That conclusion should be always false. The only conclusion which is always false, which is definitely false here is conclusion number four. So only D is your answer. Same concept. There is no difference in the concept. It's just that the question has been asked in a different way.